Sorry. Hey, Lord, come back. No nebula. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if I can stop them, so... That's if heal is okay, yep. It's the repair drone. Stun them. Stun them again, or well, stun them since I missed. <clears throat> Human will be fine. Yeah, I will be very fine. Don't worry. What are the? Nah, there is no way. Ooh, a mantis. Fantastic. Um, the ship has only two crew members. We can get a bio kill. Well, if the, the guy survives, maybe you won't. They need teleporter too for the guy to survive. Yeah, it's not sur Oh, is this surviving? Nice, that's good. Who's the other guy? Another human? No, that's fine. Buffer. Hey, Shurix. Hmm. Can I still attempt a bio kill with the shield on there? Ah, probably. We have to fully charge the chain laser first anyway. Level 2, annoying. That's also annoying. Whatever. It's gonna be fine. I have no oxygen. They have no oxygen. Okay, this is ridiculous. I can't believe that I missed so much. And this guy pretty much fully repaired everything. 
Unbelievable. We should be okay now though. Uh, it should die before it finishes. Now they're just dead, right? Small bomb, that's nice. All missile. That's crap. The thing fired because I'm not manning my weapons, pretty annoying. If I'm manning my weapon, the thing doesn't fire. And I mean, I'm not manning my weapons because they boarded there. But it kinda was unavoidable. Should be okay though. I need this back as soon as possible. We got fires. Easy. 32. You still get more scrap on average, I think, from uh, for a uh, crew kill on an outpost. I think. I'm not sure, actually. I'm not hacking here, even if uh, the mini beam will deal damage if I don't dodge. Mantis repairing. Maybe I can do this. Missing the shot is actually good in this in this case. But I don't want to depower because I don't want to fully reset my thing. Okay, now we let them repair. They may hack. It's done. Oh, that standard was very late. Okay. Please don't give me crew. That's a decent weapon. Do we keep respirators? Uh, 
Um, so like this or not, but I keep it the other two. Engines or no? Uh, what's their crew? Depending on their crew, I'm not even uh Ah, uh, sister repair drone. Never mind. Stun the system repair drone. Yeah, there's some stun value. One more. Another repair, I let them out. And I hack. Okay. I fired the stunner here in case I miss the laser shot, so at least the ion goes there. And they shall be dead. Hmm, annoying. It's fine. They're still dead. Not much. But something. Investigate. Can take damage. I'm okay with trading one drone part for guaranteed bio kills. Never luck. The ship will have a flak. I can feel it. Oh, let him repair, let him out and hack. So I have to go through the door again. They're dead. Actually, I should have went for um, possible surrender, I guess. What do we have next? Pirate and Charter. We go Pirate. An uh, early abandoned sector will be very good. But we don't want a late game abandoned sectors because they're particularly bad for us. With uh, no crew and um, not being able to have mind control, it will be just awful. Uh, this beacon is fine. We have um, uh, iron weapon, Columbia. All other lines of abandoned sector. Yeah, but in the late game it's not worth it, because it's too dangerous. In the early game, sure. Because if you get bored, if you find a, a, a bomber with mind control, that ship will kill you if you don't have mind control yourself and if you have only two crew. Okay, not necessarily. It depends a lot on my weapons. If I have a good weapon set up, so that I could go for, my, for a teleporter hack, maybe. But it's still bad.
Well, that's normal border if there is no two on the ship, what room do they go? They stay wherever they are. Or they go to the closest system if they board an empty room. Like this. Before they. Oh, the Zoltan is super stupid. Technically, the fire was bad. Because the, the Zoltan is not boarding, but hey. Do we try. Okay, sucks. Stun first in case the fire spreads and he moves. Having a twist worse than having a single. Yes. It is worse, you just have no benefit. Because uh, also. If you keep only an empty room with no oxygen, the borders will go there and they just sit in the empty room. So you can technically kidnap borders, enemy borders that way, by just keeping them in a room with no systems. Um, I think I'd rather take damage than we use another drone part here. I used quite a few for bio kills, but now I'm not getting them back. Never fires. There are fires now, but we didn't stun, so they will deal with it. Unlucky. Did we get anything with this last one? Probably not. If I get a resist, I mean, I call the bomb. Pocket one bomb for a bio kill. I'm okay with it. Yes, pretty good. Everyone has a burst too. And a small bomb. Ah, oh, fuck, this is so shit. Like, it's not even the burst, too. I, don't, I, I really don't care about the burst, too. It's the stupid small bomb. The small bomb can fuck you up so hard because you lose all your weapons. Okay, if it was, I don't know. I mean, every laser would have been bad as well. I think any other weapon I take the fight. Yeah, it's also because I've only took crew members. With three, it's already better. I can send the two Lanius into repairs and still man... I don't know if I want to use another... Okay, let's... They have a system repair drone, unless it was an anti-personnel. Hmm. I don't know. Do I want to hack? With hacking, it's a 100% bio kill. 
okay maybe not 100 but let's say 95 percent without i think it's a below 50 50. more vulnerable to misses they might try to run away i don't know let's let's go for the i'll use it as long as i i don't want to go below five That's why we eye under there. Because I expect to miss my shots. Wait. Stun this guy. We can stun it. Two more times at the least. If we don't miss. Can we get a three? Probably not. Yeah, burst to two is too slow. I didn't prepare, it's fine. Won't try to go for a surrender. It was mostly because I've missed the previous shot, otherwise I would have tried. I mean I mean I would have won volley. But it was unlikely to get it anyway. The problem with trying to trigger surrenders is that you might trigger their FTL instead. So, unless you can secure the, the bio kill very quickly anyway, then you shouldn't really risk. 5 damage, no. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, so in case this is a store. Any mantis? Yes. They have a mantis. They also have a lot of evasion. Fuck. The man they come as the first repair. I mean, yes, it's in engines. Like, it's 100%. It's always depending where they are. This ship has two guys piloting engines, so the engines guy has priority. If there are three guys, the third guy is in weapons, and so the weapon guy has priority. It's never random. Missing quite a lot though. And now I fucked up the depowering. But we got a fire as well. Uh, that could be bad. But maybe with the stun is fine. There should still be a fire in there with the human or whatever the other guy was. Double miss. So they dealt with the fire, but oxygen is low. Okay, this is done. So what do we what we want to do now is, um, I want to trigger a surrender. So I have to wait until they're almost dead, and then I fire three shot into shields.
No, the mantis went back to piloting when I missed the two shots. I missed one with their autopilot. Okay, Jesus Christ, what the fuck? And we got a human, fantastic. Getting a crew member is it's such a low roll, especially for this challenge, they're completely dead. Because you're you're gaining less a scrap for the bio kill. Is it ever too early for clocking? I mean, is it? Because, okay, the alternative will be uh, get battery and push weapons 5. Which, honestly, I think it's better, like right now. But securing the systems is just so valuable. Jump really fast every beacon and get club A level 3, yes. Then you get one clocking ship, and it's useless. Hmm. But yeah, we get a clocking here. Even if you're very behind with power, though. So we get back our DNA bank and use the star crewman for blue options. Would it be worth it, though? Because you have to buy 40 scrap for the thing. And then you have to get the actual good crew member. I mean, technically I can, but is it worth it? I don't know. Maybe. Like, keep them in the freezer for blue options. That's what the slavers do. They have the slaves for the blue options. Hey, Kololo. Mantis? Uh, Mantis is an engine, so the rock has priority and they also have a system repair drone. So if I want to buy this, to buy kill this one, I will need... Um, uh, to hack and uh, yeah, I'm not hacking with five drone parts. I'm not even attempting the bio kill. What do I want first? Uh, Weapons 4 for the small bomb, or hacking 2? Probably the small bomb. If I was still playing the chain laser, I will go for hacking. But since we already have an additional shot with the burst laser, I think hacking 1 is fine. And we have a decent amount of missiles. If I, if I was below 10... But mostly, like if I was around 5... I will go for arcing. 16 cloth. What do we have next? Zoltan or Mantis? I shall start with a power bar. This is your request for 37 scrub. It's not. Uh, what the fuck do we act though?
I want to play this with small bomb here. This fight sucks. Okay, now we switch back to stunner. What's their crew? Angie, that's not good. Unless I really want to try to buy a kill here. It will be greedy though, with an NG repairing, because like, getting fire is here plus stun will be very good. That guy's dead. Okay, get fires here, the human goes there, then we get fires here, and the human goes inside this room to deal with it. Right? Oxygen being level 1 sucks. It, it will happen, I promise. Fire here. Stupid human. Maybe I could have attempted a surrender. Uh, if I go here, this could be, depending where the rebels spawn, this could be overtaken, so I have to go now. A pulsar with double burst too. I whispered the shot though. They fired two hitch, right? Or I'm... I think. Did we succeed with the split? Oh, fuck. Is oxygen one or is it just because it's ironed? I think it's just... A... Actually, it's going... Level two. Fuck, stop. The fire will spread again. I mean, I could kill them. early. I mean, it dies anyway, because he... yeah. Fuck. Actually, he stay here, in case he moves at the last second. Stay there and die. Sure. So many free weapons from bio kills this run. Good. But I have four drum parts. That's less good. Um, you know what? No. They have two shields, drones. Ah, they don't like it. Let them in.
We'll get fires eventually. One fire. Red before the stun is over, please. Should be dead. Yep. The door should be almost full. No double reward. We go for the distress beacon first, then store. Because there will be free scrap for fuel. As pooders. It gets cloned with the clumbay disabled. Jesus Christ. Hmm. Can I buy both of them? Is it greedy? I mean... Is it? This is 81, right? 54... And then... that's fine. Only 34 to play it. And once we do... Like, it's fine because we have hacking and clocking. So our defense is very good. And uh, offense we are lacking for technically two fights. Then we kill two ships. And we have 34. And then we have luck burst too. And that's just very good. There is a possibility of um definitely not hacking here. So if they have a high level teleporter, this guy goes back. And I think they board with the NG before this guy is fully healed. Then we kill the NG and then it should be an easy bio kill. No, never mind. They have Mad Bay 2 as well. It it's okay though. If this guy survived once, he will survive again, so they will still have a Mantis repairing. Okay, now we wait. Level 2. How did I fuck up the stunner? That's sad. That's also sad. Okay, the revision is gay being annoying. I got to wait until the full repairs. And I okay, I have to be careful about something here as well. Okay. I didn't remember if 
he took damage or not. Because if he takes damage, let's wait until he heals. Otherwise, the NG will go and repair instead. Weapon training. One more. Can I stun or do I have to wait? I think I can stun. Yeah, with the stun it would have been fine. But since I missed, then the timing sucks. Sector 3, this kind of bio kills are so much worse. Because they just get more evasion. Like, it's very noticeable the evasion difference between the Sector 1, 2, and 3. I don't think I can do it. Like, this bio kill will be very, very easy, Sector 1 and 2. Sector 3, just the additional evasion fucks everything up. It's very noticeable. Now we have to wait. Yeah, I don't know. It's just hard. It's good that we didn't roll fires. Otherwise the NG would help. I kinda wish they had two shields. Because if, when they have two shields then they have less evasion and we don't care about the second shield. What's the progress? Not too bad. I think I have to wait. Uh, I had a stun. Fuck. Please. I think if I hit this one soon, we get it. Oh, they're dead anyway. Just the stunner was enough. Easy. One more fight and we get the... Or... Well, never mind. We already have it. Power, not yet. Nice empty beacons. Classic Mantis sector. Oh, yes. Abandoned, fuck. It's okay, Abandoned 4 is actually fine. I think we keep some scrap. For... Okay, I can get a power bar. We want to keep 40 for the translator. And then at the shops is, what, 50 or 55 for the Lanius? Probably 55. What do you get for authority? I should fucking kill them. 
I forgot it was six missiles. It's okay, we have plenty of fuel. Mind control. Yeah, this is kinda annoying. They ironed my thing. And they... Are you fucking serious? They ironed my hacking. And then the, the, for the only shot goes into clocking. Please. I can't protect piloting here. Oh. is fine but also please stop okay I mean we've got some fuel as well As I said, my control plus bo Lanius borders, it's not ideal. Even if it's just one, it sucks. That bomb could also be very bad. It wasn't a small bomb. Like, eventually we want to upgrade the Clombe as well, just to get um, more passive healing. I can upgrade, right? Yes. Nice. Sure. He's crap for Lanius. No mind control this time. Nice weapons though. It's fine. He boarded again. We have to wait until he goes back. I had to let him destroy it. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. A store. Let's go here first. This is the translator, right? Not. Unless the translator became a pile of scrap, which is not that unlikely. Bypass. DNA bank drone recovery. We can go for the DNA bank combo. Um, I can't have extra systems. I mean, I can have a teleporter. Yes. Sure. I left the teleporter option open if I want it. I'm gonna follow Ruckus. Those are some of the best augmentations in the game. Like... Three of these, uh, three good augmentations out of three in a store. That's unusual. Nice Lanius, by the way. A flag burst 2 over double burst 2. Yeah, technically there is no reason. I could just buy some drum parts repairs or I just push weapons and who cares about that translator that seems better sell this I mean, I can keep the 40, actually. Keep 40, repair 2. I shall keep the flock as the last weapon, rather lose that one. If we take damage. We shall be fine here. Double A through clocking. Anything interesting? Nope. What if they surrender Alanius? I guess they'd rather die. Two more beacons for potential um piece of shit. Let's go to the store, more likely to find Alanius. And nope. Really? An entire Alanius sector with two stores that have no Lanius, no translator event. 
Pirates that are not surrendering, Laniers. I see. By reckon TP. Sure. Another abandoned sector. Fuck that. We're not going abandoned, five. I mean, I called an Ark Teleporter, but I feel like it's too dangerous. Purpose of Clum Buffer. You're getting more heals every time you jump. That's why. Not Dr. Jones. Save Dr. Jones from the fires. And then kill it uh, with suffocation. Power. Heavy laser will be a nice weapon addition. How much do I want that store? A little bit. Yeah, I definitely need the power. Check this first. Uh, heavy laser, another flak, another burst too. Reloader, hold beam. Hold beam. Uh, it's gonna be expensive, but it's still kinda early. The bank? No. It's not worth it. Because, like, taking the DNA bank and then getting the Denji, it's like what? You're losing uh, 80 scrap. And then maybe you'll get 40 back. Oh, two online. I forgot. Bad habit. As long as it doesn't matter, I don't care. Mm, because I cannot mod the game to prevent this, and I can't uh, remove, uh, I don't know, 5,000 hours of muscle memory to put power in there. I want this whole beam. It's just very, very good. It's also fast beam, which is good for these weapons. Uh, and then no reloader.
I don't know exactly how many hours I have in this game, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's around the 5k. Usually the big deal for this challenge is uh, dealing with borders. Um, there was a store with a fire beam that I didn't get, right? I forgot. Yeah, because the problem is um, dealing with borders phase 3. But if you kill the borders, then it's not a big deal. It's only the guy being mind controlled. Hmm. I forgot. I should have bought the fire beam. We play whole beam here as well than flock. Yeah, that fire beam was the play. Missile still online, sad. A delay so we can clock again though. That fucking battery. I wasn't paying attention to the timing. Like I lost 10% evasion as it was going through shields. So yeah, I had only what? Seventy seven is not too much. Let's give scrap for another fire beam. Surely we'll find another. Even a fire bomb is fine. Fire beam is way better though. Those two weapons are synced. We clock this to the sink. Nine shots for damage. One, two, three, four. It should be five, but one, two, three, four, five. I think we're fine with the locking. Wait for the pulsar. I want to drop uh, shields and weapons for the pulsar, so if you get ironed there, it doesn't last as much. It's not a dive, right? I try to defend that. Mm 
before they board again. Uh, that might be a dive. Are you a dive? Bring it aboard. The present, right? Yes. What a nice present. Whatever, we upgraded the Columbia. Can deal with these guys. Easy. An option to destroy it. That's the safe option. But then you don't get the because okay the if you take it on board you can get the borders or you can get scrap so you always go for that because the borders who cares you kill them and if you destroy is if you want to be safe I think another option could be you trigger a fight as well but that's fine usually you always take everything that can give you scrap. As long as it's uh, you, you al always uh, take uh, events that can give you scrap. As long as uh, the bad outcomes are not uh, true loss, unless you're fine if you have Columbia, and you avoid the damage ones if you're low on hull. Uh, there are a few others that are pretty bad, like the one where uh, you get borders against an ASB. Like four borders, depending where they are, while you have an, a an enemy ASB, that's that's very bad. But almost all other events, you just take the at one killer. Yeah, that, that event is especially awful for Sector 1. There are... Uh... I don't mind that event with... Um... With what? I think Mantis A could be fine against that, because uh, you can vent piloting immediately if they board there. And if they don't, I mean, you have three Mantis, so usually you can kill those guys pretty easily. It, it It's bad if they roll four guys and they have Mantis and uh, many Mantis or rocks. That could be bad, but you should be kind of fine. Depends on the yeah. It also depends a lot on your crew. Look at the follow stellar shade. Rock C could be fine because you can vent piloting pretty quickly and then it's very good for venting. Uh this sector sucks by the way. We are getting upgraded doors. And uh more evasion and the uh, clocking. We want doors for the stupid police. Jesus. They cannot deal any damage. So many drones sniped. NGB, yep. And they upgraded their drones instead of their weapons. Big mistake. Yeah, that's why upgraded doors are still nice. Oh, 
Are they biokillable? Ah, the TP ducking went down. Fuck. Whatever. It's not like I cared about bio kills anyway at this point. I like bio kills a lot early game because uh, you want to find weapons, and bio kills are one of the best ways to find weapons. But once you have them, then I mean, who cares, right? It's a bit more scrap, which on average I might even lose scrap just because uh, I could roll crew, and um, yeah. And the crew is dead. I don't want to take the damage. In downstairs, it does a reset repairs. Nope. Yay, we got a crew member, as I said. Fantastic. Oh, I can use it to delay my Lanius. At least they got some value. It was more useful than all the other guys that we had before. I should get pilot in too. Delayed for one more beacon and we get weapons. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, no, no oxygen. That, that's the wrong one. We, we don't need oxygen. Uh, drop a um, evasion, so when they hack again, we have those two powers here already, and it doesn't get removed from any other system. What are the odds of getting Firebeam? Zero percent. So this guy in engines for the missile. Level three. By the way. Fifteen seconds.
Get the fuck out. I don't want to deal with them. Will they die before... Is in the system. We didn't get a second store. What did they not explore? Oh, this entire area down there. Yeah, sure. It's like five or six beacons. Oh, there is the police at the very end. Plus hacking. Oh god. They tried, yep. Is this fine? No, it's not. The civilian. And look for stores. Nice, but the big weapon's done. Distress Beacon, uh, it's okay. No, I could sell three, but... With the whole beam. Store here will suck, so I have to go here. And I avoid the backtracking. What do we want upgrade wise? Shields, clocking, hacking, piloting. So it's what? Uh...
Like almost 250 without even taking into account the power. Okay, there was a store. Go here first. Uh, no. Any fire beams? Find the second store. I don't want the corpses. Outpost is very nice. That drone is very bad. It's okay. Rather take some damage than uh, use the draw part. We're getting 10 repairs at the end of the sector anyway. Okay, store. Go here first. Mantis boarding. Where? There, I hope you don't care. Ah, oh, we got fires. I mean... Yeah, I wanted to keep the clock in for this. He went down anyway. One by three could be a possibility as well before flagship. Uh, let's stop. At least until the whole beam fires once. They have a firebomb. Can I get one as well? Thanks. Hmm. I think it's nice, but I don't know. I think a hull beam is better. Firebomb for phase one. Mm, that's it. Yeah, we don't need anything else. Let's upgrade. Annoying. They actually destroyed it.
I need a reason to fix oxygen. Mm. It could be to delay borders there. For phase 3, if we don't bio kill, but we should bio kill. So let's see if we can get the four shields. Very burst laser ship. No reason not to hack. If I can, I'll keep the repair station up, so I can repair between phases if needed. Fucking dealing damage when they die. Ninety six, okay. Bigger shields. Piloting a three, though, it's very tempting. Yeah, for phase three, we get it here. Uh, actually, they can. Bomb, yeah. Do you really think I will forget about the fire bomb? This is the last guy, huh? One hundred scrap. Not bad. Um, Oh, let's go. Phase one. We reset shields and... I think that's fine. We might take some damage, but it's fine.
I don't know why I fired it into clocking. That was stupid. Just for the extra damage. Nice fires. And they say fire beam is better than fire bomb. to keep one alive but it's fine so boarding drone can be annoying but it shouldn't be a big deal Yeah, that's fine. I can even do this to disable it. Because uh, this is the first drone, so just one damage into drones, the thing is done. Burst 3. Nice. Got 67 scrub in total. Technically. But it's zero. Thirty-five. Uh let's get this buffer. It's actually valuable because we are keeping this guy here. And then we are sending this guy down. To dodge the mind control and piloting. Okay, hacking, losing hacking sucks. Very easy run because of uh, well, we got good weapons. That's why. Good weapons, good scrap, and uh, I mean, even with the challenge, Lanya say it's still a good ship. Fifty-six, fifty-five, nineteen twenty scrap.